Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany and as always I am taking you through another clean with me because of course my house is an absolute wreck. I mean check this out. It's horrible. I hope that this video gives you guys some cleaning motivation and that if you have a messy house like I'm sure we all do after the holiday like Easter that you're able to get up and clean with me. The first thing that I like to do whenever I'm cleaning is to start off with a load of laundry. I just find that this is the only way I'm able to get it done is if I start off with laundry and I just keep rotating it from different loads from the wash to the dryer all day long. I feel like that's the only way that I seem to get it done and I also just like this because I know right off the bat I'm getting something accomplished. So when we first moved into this house, I noticed right away that these toilets, I'm not sure if it's the fact that we have hard water or if it's the way that these toilets are shaped, but they get really bad stains. So this combination has really been helping me keep that at bay. And of course, I'll have all of my cleaning products that I use listed down in the description box below for you guys. But I do like to let the two bleach and the Comet powder sit in the toilet while I get cleaning on the rest of the bathroom. And I just let that sit for about you know 15 or 20 minutes or however long it takes me to clean the rest of the bathroom down and I find that this gives me the best results as far as cleaning those hard water stains out of the toilet bowl the rest of my products I use a lot of method cleaning products and things like that but I am focusing on disinfecting everything in our house right now as you know with the coronavirus going on so I got this tip from bits of brie that when I'm using any kind of disinfectant that I read the back of the bottle and let it sit for however long it says to sit so that I can really make sure that everything is nice and clean and disinfected for my family. I actually get an odd satisfaction from cleaning the toilet and I think that this bottom part of the toilet is the most important. I have a toddler who is potty trained, but sometimes she just doesn't quite sit on the seat properly. So I find that there's like pee dribbles down the side. So I am constantly cleaning our bathroom and especially the toilet. And I get a lot of joy from doing this. And that combination there really just took care of those water stains and the toilet looks nice and clean. And I just love the way that this looks. So I'm just gonna continue to wipe down the rest of the bathroom. And I'm also gonna clean out my window seals. Clean out your window seals guys, cause it is gross. Then I'm just gonna move on into our living area. We had a, my husband's sober birthday, so me and my daughter made that little birthday sign there. So I'm just taking down all of the decoration from that. And I'm just gonna tidy everything up in the living area and put things back where they belong. It's crazy to me how much stuff just gets randomly placed all throughout our living area. This has really been the hub where we keep all of our random things. And I'm going to be making sure that everything is nice and polished and vacuumed and of course wherever our toddlers sit it is a bunch of crusty dry food let me know down in the comments if you guys feel me on this i feel like i'm constantly having to clean up after novalee wherever she eats especially now that she's not in the high chair anymore and it's not contained This area in my house has turned into my little craft area for my custom glitter tumblers. And it's crazy how quickly this space just became super crowded. It is now the hub for all of my crafts, but it really takes up a huge portion in my kitchen and it's constantly needing to be decluttered. So I'm just taking everything and putting the boxes that need to be de-stashed into my laundry room where I'm currently storing things and yeah, it's crazy. 
So I baked this cake for my husband's birthday and he is not a cake eater and it is the coronavirus pandemic right now so we're actually not able to see anyone so I did have to throw that cake away and it hurt my heart but I know that it was just going to go bad because nobody was going to eat it. Me and my husband are not huge cake eaters. All right, you guys, so I'm really curious how everybody's Easter went. Let me know down below how y'all survived your first holiday in quarantine. I know for us personally, it was quite different. It wasn't different in that we didn't celebrate Jesus or anything because we totally did and we had an awesome service and worship service online and I am so grateful and thankful for technology and friends who checked in but there was something so different about not being able to spend time with extended family or have like a large Easter egg hunt with our friends and it was just so different. We tried to do the best that we could with what we had, but it was totally a different experience. So I'm curious to know how it went for you guys. Make sure you leave a comment for me down below and let me know how that went. And if you guys have any tips for how you're preparing for the upcoming warm weather, because it is starting to get so warm here and I'm starting to get really sad just thinking about the fact that we might be stuck in our house. This is just such a crazy time for us right now. So I am just praying for everybody and I am so grateful for this community here on YouTube. It just really gives me like people to talk with and other moms that just know what I'm going through right now and how I'm feeling. So I love you guys and definitely let's chat in the comments. Oh yeah, and we are not toilet paper holders. We always get like the same amount from Costco, but this is like a total hot commodity right now is all that toilet paper I have in my bins in my pantry. Sometimes I feel like a real hurricane has gone off in my living room because of how messy this space is where my daughter eats and plays and where all of her toys are stored. And it was really sweet because she came in and saw me cleaning and she wanted to help out, which I thought was so sweet. So I like to keep coloring books and things in this basket, but it really gets overflown with toys and junk. So I'm just going through, I like to do this once a week, go through and clean out any like filled coloring books or like trash that my daughter throws in there. And I just like to keep that right next to her desk so that she always has something that she can just pull out and color on her own.
So I was feeling like my couch needed a little bit of a revamp, so I did order some new pillowcase covers. Pillowcase covers are great, you guys, especially if you're a homeowner and you like to change out the look of your pillows because pillows are super expensive and pillow covers are not as expensive. I will have this set of four that I got linked down below in the description box for you guys, but I love the way that just changing out your pillowcases, something super simple and doesn't take that much time, can just give your entire living space like a whole new feel and I just love the floral print on this I think it looks really nice especially going into the spring and summer months and I just love it it's like a nice little touch of something and I'm just gonna vacuum up this space because this rug is constantly a wreck Getting to smell a freshly mopped room is like the cherry on top of a pie for me, as well as emptying out my vacuum and seeing how much gunk I got up off my floors. It just gives me a really nice feeling of like completion and success. <laughs> and then of course, emptying out the trash. I just feel like everything is nice and clean at the end and it just makes me so happy. And yes, I hope that you guys really enjoyed watching me clean out my house. I feel like everything looks much better now. I hope that this inspired you guys to get some cleaning done as well. I hope that y'all had a great Easter holiday with your friends and family quarantine style of course and i hope that y'all are able to get some motivation to take down that easter decor and just get your house nice and clean and in order because i know we are all crazy wrecked after the weekend in the house so i hope that y'all like this video if you did please make sure that you give it a thumbs up i hope that y'all would consider hitting that subscribe button if you have not already it really supports my channel and i will check you guys in the next video bye